So, all of our devices are currently low on battery juice, so we decided to go with the old school webcam route, like the old days of Buckskin Games. Start off with Second and Charles Stop. $40 Game Boy Color in the box. Complete. Absolutely complete. However, the Game Boy itself has chewed up start and select buttons. <laughs> yeah. And little scruffs on the back there. So, you tell me if that's a deal or not. I pretty much bought it for the box. Yeah. Display. It was my girlfriend's birthday recently. I asked her what she wanted to do. She wanted to go thrifting. Good As woman. Good woman. So, we had a really awesome, badass thrifting day. Uh, first went to one of my favorite Goodwills by one of the grow facilities I used to work at. And found this. It was half off day at every thrift store we went to. So this was 250. Complete X versus Sever. It's like a first person Wolfenstein looking shooter on the Game Boy Advance. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd never played it, but I'm, I'm excited to try it out. Almost complete road and track. Need for Speed Big Box PC. Yeah, buddy. That game was horrible. I don't care, that I love the Need for Speed series. Still sealed SWAT 2 Big Box. That's exciting. Oh, yeah, you can see the, you can see the wallpaper. Right? <laughs> uh, you guys fishing on the God, I used to really love these types of fucking big clamshell boxes where you can open it and see more bigger pictures yeah, of those, the game. Those were always exciting. Those oh were always man. Exciting to have. I played the hell out of this game when I was little. It's kind of like a strategy RTS. You've got squads of SWAT members. It, it kind of plays like um, almost like XCOM. Yeah, these were all either $3 or $6. I think I only paid $6 for two of them. Star Wars X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, three bucks. And that is absolutely complete. complete box. Big old cool manual. Still got a lot of those long manuals down in the basement. That's a mint jewel case. X-Wing TIE Fighter. Oh my god. 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 And oh, Armada, Wing Commander. Oh, that's upside down. It's <laughs> yeah, this came with this kind of weird CD case, but at least it still has this one. Oh, I love Wing Commander. Oh guys. my god, and the manuals in this. Jesus Christ. Of course. Voices of War. There was a whole play lore. guide. There was a whole, like, Lore and story behind Wing Commander. Wing Commander Origins of Wing Install Guide. Went down the road to another thrift store that had another half off day and managed to snag a bunch of wizard magazines, which still have the posters and shit in them, the mini uh, comics in the back. Look at this, man. It's got a 3DO ad. Oh, I want to open that. Beavis and Butthead mini comic. Spider-Man and some X-Men or yeah, Marvel fucking oh, trading cards. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, Pokemon Collector Guide. It was fifty cents. Oh yeah, got an ad for Mortal Kombat three. The Sega Saturn ad in the back. Evil Ernie mini comic. I had to do an oil change on Colfax on Saturday, so me and Matt decided to walk on down towards Casa Bonita where an ARC thrift store is, and that fucking place was awesome. For an impromptu game hunt, holy shit, not bad, not bad. I managed to snag a boxed, uh, not completely complete, but still boxed copy of Command & Conquer for the PC, the Game of the Year edition. Uh, he was a little mad when I managed to catch him slipping on that one when I have a the first edition bigger box version yeah. of Command & Conquer. Yeah, I wish he had that version. Uh, this is a little rare to find at an ARC thrift store. It was priced at 50 um, which is actually pretty good compared to the 75 to 80 to 100 ones that I've seen in thrift stores here lately. Um, it's a little dirty. Nintendo deck console 
And look what was inside. Ooh. Kid Cool. A pretty clean copy of Kid Cool. Yeah, I was impressed by how clean that was. Not too shabby for 50 bucks. Shabby. Shabby. Uh, uh, I don't even want to go, up about, go on about that old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. 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 Fuck you, you bitch. bitch. Uh, came with two control pads. Awesome, I've been looking for those. As you know. Uh, it wires a little twisted inside, but that's typical. Came with a Nintendo power adapter. The only thing it did not come with, uh, video cables, but I've got plenty of those. It came with a game. It came with a typically $8 game, so that's pretty Can't awesome. Complain about that. That is a good deal. Managed to pick up Blood Omen Legacy of Cain for eight bucks at Black and Red. It's an awesome fucking store. Slurring a little bit after some dabs. Um, clean as fuck disc. Yeah. Clean as fuck. Oh wait, everybody say hi to yourselves. Hey. Hello. 